We have five minutes. We cut that down. To Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. I'd, I'd like to say that as a New Hampshire citizen, it makes me proud to see you all sit here for almost three hours listening to us. It's, it's good that we have a chance to express our opinion. Earlier, you heard the good doctor from the American Medical Association tell you that America is more violent than England. Well, he forgot to tell you that in February of 2018, London, England, had a higher murder rate than the city of New York City. I don't believe everything you hear in these hearings. We keep talking about closing the gun show loophole, and the problem with this legislation is that we're trying to define what is a commercial sale. And we're talking about closing the gun show loophole. If we wanted to do that, and there is a gun show loophole, if we wanted to do that, all we would have to do is amend RSA 159.16 to say, or any other firearm. Because RSA 159.16 says it is illegal in the state of New Hampshire for anyone to carry, display, offer for sale any pistol or revolver if they're not a licensed firearms dealer. Okay? So what they're talking about with the gun show loophole, they're talking about, I walk outside the gun show and in the parking lot there's some guy, you know, there goes, you want to buy a gun? And then here I am. So now I go buy the gun from him. That's the gun show loophole. And it exists. I just went to the gun show on Sunday, or Saturday and Sunday in Manchester, and they had a big sign. And the sign said, if you're caught trying to sell a gun on these premises or outside the premises, you'll be asked to leave. The sign wouldn't be there if there wasn't a problem. So there is. And all we have to do instead of going through all these kinds of silly bills is just to go ahead and just turn around and amend 159.16 to say it's illegal to carry or illegal to try to sell right, pistols and revolvers and any other firearm or any other firearm. It's that easy. It's done. Now, anybody who does that, they're breaking a law. Background check isn't going to matter. The young lady who was talking about arms list, you heard 14,000 guns on arms list. That's 38 guns a day. If I listed firearm on arms list and I bought firearms on <coughs> arms list, if, you, if I list a firearm on arms list on Monday, and it doesn't sell till Friday, that gun has been on there five days, but it's one gun. They're counting it five times. So don't, don't think for one minute that there are 38 people in New Hampshire listing guns on arms list every single day. Just in New Hampshire, 38 people a day, every day, 365 days a year. That's ridiculous. It doesn't happen. As far as going through arms list, if somebody, if, if I see a gun I want to buy on arms list, and I contact the seller, and the seller says, here's my phone number, give me a call. And I give him a call and he goes, I'll tell you what, send me a check or send me some PayPal through friends and family and I'll just mail you the gun. Well, first of all, he's already, and he can do that, and there's a good chance that I'll get that gun. All right? But he's committed a firearm, he's committed a federal felony by sending it off. That's number one. Three and number, okay. And he's number two, he's committed a felony by sending it to the post office. All right? You follow me? So you're not going to stop that with anything, with any background check. I thank you very much for your time, thank sir. You. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Clock TV.